Nobara 40, a distro based on Fedora 40, was released in mid-July 2024. In this video I'm gonna show you if the new version performs better in games than the previous one, Nobara 39. The ISO that I used is the Nobara 40 official NV. For the comparison, I used the latest NVIDIA drivers and the same Proton 9.02 and Wine 9.9 version as used on Nobara 39. Also, I made sure that all Nobara 40 system updates were installed, as this was the case for Nobara 39.
For those that are colorblind, for each game the first bar represents the Nobara 39 results, the second one is for Nobara 40 and the last one is for the Windows 11 results. When we look at the 1440p results, we can see that we have a big performance uplift in Horizon Zero Dawn, but in other games there is none. Keep in mind that by default Nobara 40 comes with a newer GPU driver. When we move to the 4K results, the dynamics don't change at all. We can see a constant improvement over the previous version, a really small one, and again in Horizon Zero Dawn we can see a big uplift in performance. Looking at the chart with the average performance loss compared to Windows 11, we can see that the new Nobara version fares a bit better, reducing a bit the performance gap, with the overall performance loss standing at 18.12%. When it comes to stability, I must confess that Nobara 39 was rock solid, but the new version seemed a bit buggy until you managed to apply all the updates. I want to mention again that this is the version for NVIDIA GPUs. And there you go, when it comes to gaming, the new release seems to do a bit better, but I'm not sure if that is the case or the newer GPU drivers have brought this performance uplift, to be honest, I suspect it's the latter. The 560 drivers may bring even more performance uplift, reducing the performance gap when compared to Windows 11. If you want to find out, consider subscribing to the channel, drop a comment below and hit the thumbs up button. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.